What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Valencia, and you're watching Styling with V. As you can see in the title, today is a collective haul, and I picked up pieces from like a farm, ASO, H&M, but I want to show you what I bought and how I would style them up. If this is something that may interest you, please subscribe to my channel down below. And to my OG subscribers, thank y'all for coming back. I focus on fashion, beauty, lifestyle, but my main focus help the mid-sized woman with styling and hauling. So instead of me getting a rambling, let's get into styling these pieces. Now this first look is a two-piece set and what we love, we love us a good two-piece set. And why I love two-piece set, because you can style it so many ways. You can style the top with something, you can style the bottom with something. And I got the top in a size a large. It's cropped, but it kind of boxy. So you really could go down size if you wanted to be more fitted. But if you wanted to oversize, you can go up a size or just get your regular size. And then I also got the pants in a size large and they have an elastic waist all the way around. But what I love about this elastic waist that it has a drawstring because if you don't have a defined waist, a drawstring will draw your waist in a little bit more. And I love that for me. I really, really love that for me. And then I wanted to break up the color a little bit. So I threw on my Express crop top and I got this in a size extra large. I screamed those bodysuits on this channel. I love them because they're high compression and they kind of suck you in. And then I threw on my Tory Burch jelly slides, white with the gold hardware on them. And I think that is really, really cute. And then I recently picked up these white earrings that I picked up from Zara. These are no longer available. They was in the sale, but I bought these way before it went on sale but how cute are these and look i have makeup on the back of them so these are real metal and these are really really lightweight so you can wear them all day and i really really love these and i just paired them up with some gold angles bracelets that i got from zara last year and i think this is such a cute look and then i wanted to play off that pink and red so i threw on my red Bottega dupe bag that I picked up from TJ Maxx. I have no link for that. You'll have to find that in the store. But I think this is a cute outfit for just running errands. This is a cute outfit for vacation. But tell me how do you feel about this look? And our next look is a dress. Because living in the South, it gets way too hot, especially in Houston. Humidity is horrible. So I've really been loving yellow for this summer. So I was recently on H&M and I seen this yellow bubble hem dress. Now y'all know I love me a bubble hem. I don't care if it's a shirt, it's a skirt, it's a dress, but I really, really love this. And I love that it's a baby doll style type dress. So it's fitted around the bust and then it flares out because that gives me more volume and it makes me look more balanced. But I wanted to color block with this dress. So I wanted to color block with the color fuchsia pink. So I threw on my Tory Burch Eleanor slides and I got these probably about a month ago on the sale. And I really love how pink and yellow looks together. I think it looks so vibrant. And I wanted to pair it up with gold. So I threw on my Koi jewel, my earrings, and then my bangles are from Zara, which is old. And then I wanted to add some more yellow, but a different shade of yellow in this look. So I threw on my aviator shades that I got from Amazon. And the lens are yellow but the frames are black. So it gives it some type of contrast. And then I threw on my metallic gold bag that I got from the Vault Labels, which she is a black owned brand. And we support black owned businesses on this channel. I really, really love this look. This is something that I would go to run errands with. This is something that I would wear on a date. This is something that I would just casually wear. And if you want to swap out the slides and throw on some like platform heels, some stiletto heels, I think that'll be really, really cute. But tell me how do you feel about this look? Now this next look is another vibrant look. And I got the top from a brand called Affirm and they do mesh so well. 
This top is double lined, so it's not completely see-through. And I got in a size of 1X, because in mesh tops, I like to size up so it's not too tight and you can see all your rows. And then I paired it up with these Free People barrel jeans. And I know some of you guys don't like barrel jeans, so barrel jeans is the thing is, you really love it or you really hate it. And I love the one from Free People. And I wanted to play off the colors that was in the top. So I just paired them up with these pink slides that I got from Zara. They are old. And then I threw on my gold jewelry. I put my earrings on that I got from Koi. And I had some bangles that I got from Zara. And also with the bag, I wanted to play off the colors that was in the top. So I threw on my green quilted bag that I got from Zara probably a while ago. And I think this is so cute. This is something that I will go to run errands. This is something you can wear to a festival, a concert. But I think this is so cute. And if you didn't want to wear flats, you can pair this up with heels. I think that would be really cute. But tell me, how do you feel about this look now this next outfit the top is coming from a firm and i have it on right now and i picked it up in a size 1x but i feel like this one is a way more roomier where you can really size down in this and what i really 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 love about this top is the thumb holes so i really love active wear that has thumb holes i don't know why don't ask me why but I love them. And I love all the color detail that is in this top. And then I love how it comes down on my neck. It's not like a mock neck because you know, a lot of the mesh top is the mock neck and I don't think mock necks looks good on me. And then I paired it up with this balloon skirt that I got from Zara in a size XXL, no longer available online, but you probably can find it in the store. And with me, I don't have really of a defined waist. So when you don't have a defined waist, belts are going to be your best friend. So I recently picked up this rhinestone belt from Amazon and I just threw that on to snatch the waist. And then I threw on my metallic silver heels that I just hauled on my last video. And I think that plays so well with the belt. And then I threw on those white earring and then i threw on my red bag that i got from tj maxx to play off the red that is in this top and i think this is so cute i think this is something that i will wear to a concert this is something i will wear to a festival this is brunch this is day night this is all the things and i think this is so so cute so tell me how do you feel about this look now i did pick up one piece from the zara sale and it is this bodysuit and it has the rosette rose but it is in a rhinestone so this is the bodysuit and i picked this up in a size xxl and look how cute that this rose is and then you can snap it back in the back of the neck and it is like a halter back and this has a zipper on the side so it runs small so you can wear this like with a blazer with the jacket i think this is going to be perfect during the fall but i think this is so so cute and abercrombie and fitch recently had a sale on their jeans 20 percent off and i seen these jeans with like rhinestones on them because i always see the jeans with rhinestones at zara but they never fit me well. So I really love the collection with Abercrombie and Fitch, the low rise baggy. It's not really a low rise on me. It's more of a mid rise and their mid rise is more of a high rise on me. So I like the low rise in Abercrombie and Fitch. And I picked these up in a size 14 and that is a 32 in their size. And I think these are so stinking cute and another thing that i love about this is that they don't have the rhinestones on the back and that is so good and these are so cute and you can wear this with so many different things and they came in this ashy gray and then it came in a denim blue and i love that and then i just paired them up with my silver earrings from Zara that I 
have on right now. And then I threw on my metallic silver sandal to go with this to give it some type of height, to dress it up a bit. And I think this is so cute. This is something I will wear on a day. This is something I will wear to brunch. But tell me, how do you feel about this look? Now you have made it to the end of my video. And if you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button down below. I would like for you to like, subscribe, and comment on what was your favorite look. Until next time, love you guys. Bye.